Hey guys, how are you doing? As you can see, I'm not at home and it's been a while since my last video but I'm in Rome I'm in Rome, the capital of an ancient Roman Empire and I'm gonna explore it and I'm gonna take you along with me on this journey I'm sitting on the Piazza del Popolo, it's a kind of huge square, not that far from Vatican City and a lot of other sightseeing spots. And speaking of sightseeing spots, we were walking a little bit around in Rome, we walked to the Trevi Fountain and I must say it's a really crowded place. A lot of people, everyone was trying to get the perfect shot of the fountain. I don't know if it's because of Corona, but there was police walking around all the time and telling the people who were sitting on the fountain to stand up. I think people don't care, because every time the police officers told them to stand up, by the time they walked away, they were sitting again on the fountain. We also walked to the Pantheon, kind of like, but it's crowded as well. Like, so many tourists. There was actually a queue over the whole square for people waiting to get inside. But due to the coronavirus, it's only allowed for a couple of people to get inside of the Pantheon. I got home, put some new clothes on, got a shower, and now I'm walking in Villa Borghese, a huge park in the middle of Rome. And it's almost sunset now, I think the sun sets in about an hour. So, perfect lighting conditions for a few pictures and for nice shots. So, let me show you how beautiful this park is. Today we were at Vatican City and we explored the Basilica di San Pedro, I think it's called in Italian and we also explored the square and it wasn't really busy at all. I was expecting it to be a lot busier unless, yeah, well, there are always queues to enter the Basilica and the queue for the dome wasn't actually very short so yeah, I think you have to wait a few few hours before you can get up the dome so we didn't do that but we explored the Basilica and I filmed a few different things inside there especially kind of like the statue on the left, oh, no on the right the statue on the right if you go inside the Basilica apparently it's very famous and a lot of people were staring at it. Now we're going into the city, we're going to the Spanish stairs and we're gonna explore that one and maybe we have some dinner afterwards somewhere. I mean there are a lot of different places to get food so that isn't the hardest problem in Italy. <music> Sitting here, 
the dam. Sitting here somewhere on Palatine Hill, one of the seven hills where Rome was built on. And you can see that it was definitely for the upper class people because the buildings are nice, there are a lot of gardens and in general it's very beautiful. Palatine Hill is one of the few things you can explore together with the Forum Romana and the Colosseum. The entrance to the Colosseum is at about 4 a.m. so it's now half past two so I have a few uh, one and a half hour left to explore the Forum and the Palatine Hill before I go to the Colosseum. It's extremely hot, like way above 35 degrees Celsius and I'm sweating my ass off but luckily there's sometimes a little breeze to cool me down but yeah maybe next time I visit Rome I visit in spring or in fall. Seeing all these ruins makes it almost kind of like make me feel sad that this huge empire has fallen down and the only thing that's left are a few bricks as fun as it sounds. And it's also hard to imagine how huge this whole area was. Obviously I'm not an expert, but therefore more respect to all the archaeologists who managed to reconstruct all of these ruins. I mean, for me it's hard to tell what exactly everything is, but somehow they managed to do all that stuff. 